Baba said Jai Baba to you. Welcome to Baba's kitchen. Is it recorded or what? Yes. Yeah. So uh, this is Baba's kitchen and I'm still cooking after one. Baba put me in the kitchen in 1939. So I'm still cooking for everybody. <laughs> and now I'm 83. I was 19 then. <laughs> So I'm making egg akuri. Which I don't know. Thank you. I don't know who brought him. I think they want to brought him. Yeah, so he sees now. I'm making egg akuri. So there's onion, there's the egg beaten up, salanta and mint. And tomatoes all chopped up now. It will all go in that. Jala ka meat meat chopped it over. Mala hete la agra prasan. Now I shall put this on the fire. The originally we had wood fires. This gas is after the war. This gas was introduced and. Uh, So now cooking is much easier for me than what it was. I had to blow the fires and everything like that. Now I'm making egg akuri. So I'll put in my, we'll have to watch again. Amber, you can be here if you like. Okay. Put in the oil first. Now, this is ginger and garlic paste, which I always keep ready, freshly ground on my stone. See, I don't have fa fancy mixtures. That's my stone there. Look here. This red stone mm. and the big mallet or whatever you call it, the grinding thing on it. This, the big thing. This comes from Delhi and Jaipur. You don't get these red stones here. It's from Baba's time. So I dare not break it. Mm. I have to be very careful that nobody, if it falls, it'll break. So I have to be careful. So I grind that, it's like butter. I mean, what you put in the mixes is all very coarse. It doesn't go with me. Okay, now here's my ground gar garlic and ginger. This is for the egg. And this. Where is my lid? Then I put in my cumin seed. Mala Hezia, the cook me, it's a table of Andeta and Andeta. Cook me, it's a dinner. The Kandeti part put I. Now, I shall put in these onions. I shall put this green um, akapa bari. This is uh, spring onions. Huh? This will all go there. This, after I toss this, this is the ginger and garlic paste. Now the onions go in. This is akuri. Akuri is with a egg, like scrambled eggs with all the, all the masala in it. Huh? Mm. I don't know what you call the masala. Mm -hmm. <coughs> now this is a spring onion. I mean, I never measure, I'm sorry. But <laughs> I just throw it everything. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a little confusing for everybody. And she said, what is she doing there? Did you put some cookbooks extra? Yeah, yeah. They were all finished. Yeah, they were all finished. Yeah, they were all finished. Yeah. I know, they were all finished. <laughs> well, I don't know. I'll have to tell Amber. Have you still got some enough? Yeah, now they have plenty. Good. Because many people wanted to buy the full finder. And they wanted me to sign. So they all left on this. So let me find this.
and uh, <coughs> Larry, you have a taste of all what I give you. Okay. Mm. So then you know what it is like. So this is my salt. So, mm. salt, day baba, day baba. The first ingredient that goes in, every everything I put in is with jai baba. Mm. You understand? Yes. That's how the food tastes nice. Because baba does it, I don't do anything. Tamata kapa loka. If I need more oil, I put in. Then I'll make buttermilk curry. Then I'll do bindi. Then I'll sort it the dal. Then I'll make the dudi. So, and this all this I have to do it between nine, nine to ten thirty, and be out and get dressed and visit. Sit with a big smile for the visitors. <laughs> <laughs> How do you do it? I have to be very fast. I get exhausted. Honestly, I tell you, I get so tired. But I have to, so every what can I do? Tell her, Anna, because I'm going to add tomatoes in it, a little pinch of sugar will bring out the taste. And there we go. But there, Baba, tell her, not much. Baba. Oh, now I've become so old, I can't do each for bottles. I can't do this, I can't do that. When I was young, when I was 18 and 19, yeah. when I was cooking, I was like frisky like a little deer. Tell us, Tama Tama. of the eggs ready. I can add a little black pepper. <coughs> there are some who can't eat KN. KN or green chilies would be nice, but there are others here who can't stand anything hot. So I have to provide people with note somebody can't eat tomatoes by Baba's order, somebody can't eat chili, somebody can't eat this, somebody so I have to be prepared to do everything separate for all these people. Baba, come on. Maja, dood ko pe chola mi jara baba. Jis dood de chora. Waiting how long have you been cooking at Marathon? Well, ever since uh, after Nadia expired, I took over the kitchen. Baba's cousin in the, Nadia. In the 80s. Uh, when, when did Nadia pass away? 83. 82? Mm. 82 then. Yeah, so then I, I've been in the kitchen since. Yeah. No break. No break for Katie. Retirement means retiring. Yeah. No, no, with Baba there's no retirement. He, he doesn't have that word in the dictionary. No, Baba doesn't have that word. You retire when you when you're laid in your grave. <laughs> <clears throat> That's the final retirement. Now to taste the salt. I always have my food ready to check. Now I can't put too much salt also. People don't want salty food. It's not good for health. Fine. Mm. 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 Either 
Amber, are you here? Yeah. Where is it? Well, I will give him a taste first. Ek chimchi dia dhund. Taste. It's hot. Ek chimchi dia dhund la dhund. Wait, Katie. Mm. Set. Video. Mm. Is it good? Yeah. Well, I'm sure Alan gives you one that too. Mm mm. Nah. -uh. Mm -hmm. That one's good, but. You're better. Mm hmm. We have it on tape. Mm hmm. <laughs> now don't you say that. Mm -hmm. Baba. <laughs> this is good. We won't <laughs> tell. I got Jack Nidia. That one's a young one. He's got a few years. You know, you have a few years when he's on your age, he'll, he'll be. <laughs> I hope you still cook when I was my age. <laughs> Katie, how old are you? I am now 83. I'm young as a chicken. You look great chicken. for 83. And 19 years old, Baba put me in the kitchen. Oh my gosh. Cook for 35 people. I said, I've never been in the kitchen in my life. I said, yes, Baba. <laughs> and I think to myself, what am I going to cook? <laughs> Because those days we had wood fires and cow dung cakes. And, and we had so much. I mean, it was very crude. Everything mm. traveling, the fireplace is so high. Mm. I had to stand on stools to reach the fireplace. The stomach would boil here. And whatever <laughs> I ate just came out. Yeah. Oh it was God. cooking there between the hot fires. And, and it, was, it was tough. Traveling, it's cooking, it's and all that. So it wasn't easy. Yeah. Can you show him your stove? Was it, was it at all like this? This kind of stove? No, we didn't have. Coal in here. I lit the light the coal outside. Otherwise, the kitchen would get all black with the wood fires. You understand? Yeah. So,